Anita and I'm Sinead and this week we're going to be your best friends because we are going to show you how quick and easy it is to change the springs on a high art well on any silky balsa. saw every single day of the week um, to be overly dramatic <laughs> um, a lot using it a lot yeah. <laughs> yes you use it a lot but from time to time you may need to remove the buttons and the springs inside your pulse saw these things yeah, so today we're really talking about how you do this and how to make it super easy because we do do this from time to time um, we have arborists that might come into the showroom here and ask us to replace the springs for them for one reason or another and it's actually quite a challenging job to do isn't it you think oh easy change the springs but you really... <laughs> not at all no. it's kind of like you need like four sets of hands and more fingers than you actually have on your hands so that yeah, no. yeah that's right so yeah it's not an easy job to do but because of that every time we have to do it we're all like ah how can we do this easier and one of the uh, people here in our office, Rick, came up with this great idea and we've tweaked it and fine-tuned it. And we have made this handy-dandy little tool. Yes. So, simply... It may look like nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like nothing, but believe me, it is, it is amazing. It makes a world of difference. <laughs> it really does. makes a hard job really quick and easy. So, it's basically just a, a square bit of steel pipe that um, we've had somebody tweak and sort of pinch in the end to make it a bit smaller and then they've made us this strong bit of wire and sort of bent it around so that we can sort of use this as a hooking device to get the old spring out and sort of maneuver if need be the new spring uh, and then this one is to put the new spring in your pole so we're going to show you how it works but we wanted to show you this tool because it really does make such a difference it makes the job so quick so you could make this yourself or you could jump on our website arbalab.com.au and order yourself one um, but yeah it is a lifesaver it sure is so okay so this is how it works you get the spring and they all sort of look a bit like this you press it down like so and then you insert it into the end of that pipe then you get your button and there's like a little notchy bit that um, sort of sticks out from the spring there so you pop the button over that little notchy section, like so, and it balances like that. And then you have your screw. And then I hold the pole, I mean, we're lucky we've got this bench, so it's got a vise here. I think um, Sinead might grab it and grab the camera and bring it over so that you can see um, a bit easier what I'm doing here. So we're just gonna grab that camera. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we are. That hole there is where the screw goes, and then that hole is where the button goes. So we simply slide our little spring set in. You can see there how nicely it lines up there for the spring. So for the screw, should I say. And so then you just twirl it in. Oopsie. Remembering to do it in the right direction. Okay, then get your little screwdriver and twirly really in till it's nice and snug. And then you simply pull on the black pipe and bobs your uncle. There is a brand new spring button and screw nicely secure. Done! Yay! <laughs> this little hooky device thing. Say you were wanting to wriggle that spring around or move it around, this just slides beautifully. Maybe come and make in this direction. This just this just slides really nicely into the pole and allows you to grab onto that spring should you need to pull it out and move it around. So that's what that one there is for. So very, very handy little tool set. Um, this one here, which holds the screw, puts it in place, and little maneuvering device. <laughs> I know that was a very short video, but short and sweet. Um, you needed to show you a perfect example after a few little mistakes. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see those. The video was really long because we started trying to do the button and spring with my left hand and I was trying to put the spring in going left, not right. 
couldn't figure out why it wasn't working, so we turned it around and oh, the brain kicked into gear. You put it in right that direction if you want to screw it in. Unscrewing is to the left. So sorry. Anyway. But anyway. Side point. <laughs> <laughs> You've now and learned sorry. how to change the spring and that your leader doesn't know which direction to put a screw in it. Yes. <laughs> but um, it was very simple, very easy, and we're only a very, only very, very short period of time. Yeah. So if you've ever tried to change a spring or a button, you know how yes. annoying it can be to do and how long it takes. So you can see, quick, easy. Make one of these at home. You will love it. Or buy one from us. Yeah, buy one from the website. Outline.com.au. But yeah, it's pretty sure that's all from us. Yeah. So please, if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And tell your friends. That would be great. And uh, any comments, we love comments. Tell us, write them down the bottom and we will <laughs> respond or shoot us an email or even give us a call. Yes. So next week we're talking about art things and no I'm not talking about the boat that takes two or one animals or the welding stuff stuff or, <laughs> or a bottle of rum. Wait hang on you can bring a bottle of rum. <laughs> but um, stay tuned for next week for our art things. To find out what we're talking about. Hopefully we'll know by then. <laughs> Bye. Bye.